Hello guys. So I am back again with you and today we are going to talk about food. So what is a food? Uh so if we are talking about food, uh what you are getting at? So uh what comes in food? Actually we eat, right? So why why should we eat? Do it gives us any benefits? Yes, it gives us many and many of benefits. Actually, the uh, we live because of food only. We have food, we have energy, we grow, we live, and that is because all because of food. So, uh, now we are talking about food. What is actually food? Uh, and uh, uh, this if you are talking about food, what is actually food? So, uh, from my side, if I think that uh, what is a food? A food is actually a substance which uh, gives us energy, and it is derived by the living organisms, right? Uh, and it helps in growth and in various and various activities. So, now if we are not having any uh of food, we are not eating any food. What would happen? We will not get any of the energy and we would be just we will not contain growth we can't do any activity even now mm, uh, what do food give us food give us energy actually food gives us energy right and so uh, in this uh, lesson we will talk about food where does it come from what is a food and what is food then we will uh, talk about foods are uh, uh, categorized into uh, which types and on which basis the organisms are also categorized so we are all uh, we are going to talk all about us uh, so all in detail so let's start so yes when this uh, actually food is the substance which gives us energy and if you are not having any other type kind of food uh, if you are not actually eating food then you will not get any type of energy in your body now what is important of food uh, now uh, there are many and many types of reasons why uh, the food uh, why food is very important for us now first type is that it requires us for the growth of body we do not eat proteins which comes in food category category then we will not have any type of uh, growth in our body will not develop so that's why uh, that's why also we need food and we need food for protection and uh, from diseases and in, uh, infections if we do not eat a if we don't eat food then uh, we would become weak and we become weak the diseases and the infection they will um, uh, they will uh, come uh, they will just come uh, to in our into our body and they will harm us now to get energy to work and uh, to move body actually we need energy to move our body that's why uh people say that eat three times uh, food so uh, we need energy from that from energy what we do we uh, work and we move right so if uh, i'm he speaking so why i am speaking because i have energy in it which comes from food so actually the food is the main part of a life also now it keep our body fit and uh, healthy uh for various activities now if we uh we say are eating food if we are taking a balanced diet then we will uh be always fit and be healthy now living organisms which comes to living organisms which actually eat food now all living organisms are categorized into two types on the basis of food so uh, as i taught uh, told you that um the food is all uh, is Uh, the living organisms are also categorized in basis of food so if you talk about that then there are two type of uh, organisms to which uh, it is categorized right so it is categorized in that so uh, so uh, autotrophic organisms now autotrophic organisms what are that now autotrophic organisms are the organisms which can make the food 
on their own. They do not need anything. Now, if you say that plants can make their food on their own, no, that's not at all right. The um, plants need help of water. It needs help for um, uh, sun. It needs help for soil and minerals. So, uh, it's not a right thing that if you have to uh, tell it that plants make their own so if uh, so if you say that green plant green plant um uh, uses so then you are actually right that yeah green plant is a uh, actually um a plant which makes uh their own so uh, it is divided into autotrophic organisms this is the first type right now what uh, is the second type now let's go to the second point that is heterotrophic organism now uh, what is heterotrophic organism now let's see what is heterotrophic organisms now heterotrophic organism is just an opposite of heterotrophic uh, Autotrophic organisms. So, heterotrophic organisms are organisms which are depending on, uh, depended on uh, other uh, organisms, the uh, other things actually, directly or indirectly. Means you don't know that they are actually dependent or not actually dependent. Like if we humans, we are uh, we humans are directly. Uh, dependent on plants but plants are not directly uh this uh not directly uh you know dependent on sun and water right uh so that's the um point in between them and if we say uh, example of heterotrophic organism then you come with humans animals birds etc etc actually we all are dependent on plants so plants are also dependent on sun and all, right? So that's the actual point, uh, right? Now, let's come to the next thing. Yeah. So, now, uh, so the food. Now we know that uh, what is important for food and why uh, is it important but we had not understood till now that uh, that where does food actually come from okay now food uh, uh, comes from may, uh, two types of sources and uh, actually many types of sources so uh, so uh, let's uh, get them in uh, detail so all human beings depend on other living organisms mainly plant and animals for food so actually plants are the main source of food actually the plants are only the main source of food animals are also but plants are mainly Now first we will talk about plants. Now, uh, so we will talk about both, but in this uh, we are talking about that is mainly on the depend on plants. So animals, why do they live? Animals also live because of plants, because even the herbivores they eat plants. Animals also eat plants as they uh, eat both animals, but Carnivores eat animals, but carnivores eat animals. That animal also uh, living because of plants. As plants, uh, they eat plants, right? So, so uh, animals also eat uh, plants. Uh, so the main uh, basic uh, type of food is plants. So now let's talk about plants. Now. Um, Plants from plants, uh, there are many, many, and many types of uh, uh, sources uh, of plants from which we can get actually uh, we can get uh, foods, right? So 
right uh, so we will uh, first talk about plants so let's focus about plant uh, on plants so in plants yes in plants uh, uh, how do we get that uh, from which which type of sources uh, we get so uh, let's get in detail of that plants right now plants are the most important and basic source of food plants are whole or, di or different part of plants such as seeds stem root leaves flowers and fruit i use as uh, food now so in which which and which type of uh, uh, you know uh, in which type of uh, uh in which type actually in which thing uh it is category uh it is me, uh, me. so first uh first point is uh to be a seed it's seed then we have flowers uh, uh we will learn uh we will know uh all this in more detail flowers and the basis is fruit right we eat fruits vegetables and all right uh, fruits and uh, uh, stem and even roots right stem and uh, roots and in fact leaves also right nowadays we are using leaves as a uh, you know in everything we will get uh, that kadi patta and tulsi and we will sprinkle in, in uh, vegetables uh, because of all this corona uh, uh, because it makes our immunity uh, strong right uh, yes so there are six uh, types in which we can all uh, get this uh, in this cup so now uh, first let's um talk about seeds right uh actually seed is only the main uh seed uh uh is uh the first one on which we are going to talk about now seed so uh in seed uh these are the substances which can give birth to new plants now how is plant form plant is actually form from the seed only so um uh, no that's not uh, compulsory that uh, the plant is only uh, grown with seed some plants grow with leaves with uh, part of leaves of the plant some grow uh, with stem some grow with flowers some even grow with uh, fruits right Uh, main part is seed only, right? So large number of seeds are used in food. Uh, like the I mean, uh, there are uh, types also in which uh, it's uh, you know. Yeah. So first is cereal, uh, cereal grain, right? Cereal grain. Uh, what is cereal grain? So, if we uh, get to know about the example, then we can say about uh, you know. Yes. So, if we say, uh, you can say rice. You know, wheat also we can say. So there are many and many types uh, which you can say. Uh, okay. And in fact, maize and millet are also the part. So this was the first type uh, of uh, seed, which is cereal grain. Okay. So, right. Now let's come to uh, another part, which is legume seeds. Legume seeds. Now what are legume seeds? 
If we talk about the examples, we can say soya bean, pulses, lettuce, etc., etc. So they are actually uh, seeds, uh, like pulses, uh, dal, which you say, that is actually a legume seed, right? So now let's come on to the next part. Yeah. So now let's get the what is our next part. Now, next is nut. Now, what are nuts? Uh, I think uh, everybody of you uh, must be eating nuts nowadays because uh, it helps to build our immunity also. So, in nuts, uh, what can be uh, the example? Almond. Walnut, etc., etc., right? So these all are actually, uh, you know, actually uh, uh, not only the almonds, walnuts, and all. Right. Now let's come to the next one. So the next one is oil seeds. Now oil seeds are uh, just used to uh, take out oil from them. Uh, means the seeds are crushed and the processes happen and then the oil uh, comes out like uh, so some seeds are mustard, leek, um, sunflower etc etc. Now do you know that mustard had two edible parts? So from this we get to know that must, uh, there are many uh, plants which have two, uh, two or more than uh, two types of sources to which uh, we get to eat them, right? So, uh, from mustard seed, uh, the oil is taken out, and from leaves, we eat them, right? Now, brevidium. Uh, so, brevidium uh, is the coffee beans. Uh, you know, we, we uh, get to take that coffee from that uh, uh, seed. It's actually a seed. Now spices. Spices, uh, actually the spices are ma only made from, uh, see like if you say cumin and fang, etc, etc. Right. Now, uh, let's see, uh, let's come to the next point, which is fruits. Right. Now, Fruits are important and major source of food. Now, let's come to the fruits. Now, mostly fruits are consumed raw. The, uh, the fruits which are consumed raw, many and many types of examples. Like you can say mango, you can say orange, you can say apple, banana. There are many types of fruits, right? Which can be eaten raw. Now, there are some uh, fruits which are even used as vegetables. Like if you say cucumber, brinjal, uh, tomato, capsicum, etc. Et so these are all as a, a vegetable also and as a fruit also. Okay. Now uh, some fruits are used as spices. How? Let's find out. Now red chili. Red chili is also made from a fruit. Now coriander, black pepper, etc. Et now, some fruits are used to prepare beverages. Beverages are actually a ju uh, you know, juice or you can say a drink, right? So, grapes, apple, etc. etc. Uh, we know we drink uh, grapes, chips, uh, and apple, and etc. Right? Now, the, uh, this was all about fruit. Now, you uh, are going to talk about Roots. Now, what can we do with the roots? Now, there are many plants whose roots are used uh, prime fruit material. Now, what is that? Now, some example of roots which is uh, we eat as uh, you know vegetables are sweet potato. You know, sweet potato comes from underground. Uh, means it's an underground. 
now beat a uh, root and carrot and radish stone and ginger right so roots are also uh, of, of two types main root and fibrous root from uh, so we get that food from uh, mainly from main root but fibrous root are also many so if you say uh, the example of main root then you can say radish and carrot and etc etc there are more and more types uh, of cereals going on now if we talk about stem what is uh, so from stem uh, of many plants are used as food material these plants store food in the stem after photosynthesis so you know uh, what is a photosynthesis process which uh, plants make the food right now plants whose stems are uh, <clears throat> uh who's are uh, underground and are used as vegetable means underground stem actually so those are potato garlic onion and cauliflower etc etc so the many and many types of so plants whose stem are above the ground are used as food are uh, you know the uh, clary right and extranger right so some stems are used as spices like uh, um and say that the many types tasia tasia is uh, one of that now we come to e l a A. Now, little sir, many plants are used as the green vegetables: cabbage, spinach, le uh, lettuce. What is lettuce? Right, sir. Okay, lettuce, etc., etc. Now, some leaves are used as spices like curry leaves, uh, basia, and etc. The many and many types of that. Now, uh, there are some uh, leaves which are do, uh, used in medical. Uh, you know, uh, when there were no medicines, uh, then we use them to uh, to you know treat uh, patients like tulsi and coriander and the many and many neem uh, leaves also. Right now, let's come to flowers. It's a load of this. E R S. Flowers. Now, some flowers are used as food material, like pumpkin, cauliflower, broccoli, etc. Right. And so pumpkin is that big one, orange one. Right. Now, some flower, uh, some flowers are used as spices and obtain a. Uh, a edible oil and uh, for example clove saffron etc actually the clove and saffron is from uh, flowers only right uh, so animals uh, and the uh, product as well now uh, now if we come uh, on now in animals so animals uh, comes uh, with much right so in animals we come to dairy products and in fact we eat animals also right so in animals let's go to animals So in animals, first let's come to dairy. Now in dairy we get milk, right? So that uh, we get milk from this whole further process from animals like cows, buffaloes, goats, and all. We get uh, 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 dairy and from milk, and then. 
we get milk and from the uh, milk we make out uh, butter we make out uh, ghee we make out curd and many and many things so so uh, fruit products from animals are called dairy products such as milk and poultry products uh, so now this was a uh, one type of animals now we have another type which is known as poultry product Uh, and in that it contains egg and milk and etc etc now dairy product milk is main dairy product which is obtained from animals like buffaloes goats camels etc etc so uh, so all these animals which give us milk they are known as dairy animals as uh, the milk comes in dairy and from that uh, from uh, them only we get that dairy right and from that only all comes right now milk uh, can be uh, protected obtain ghee curd and for as i told right now uh, the animals which give us milk are called milk animals then uh, so they have two names one is dairy animals and one is milk where is this in my age now we come to poultry animals now in poultry animals these uh, products are obtained from poultry birds like hens ducks cows and etc etc now in poultry animals we uh, get egg and we get meat okay now uh, now let's talk about m e a t meat now in meat meat is obtained from poultry birds like goat and sheep so goat and uh, goat is two it has three names sorry dairy animal milk animal and the poultry bird so poultry animal now let's come to the sweetest thing in the world honey it is a very very and very sweet it honey is obtained from honey bees it has high medicinal value as it contains minerals and nutrients right now based on the food i ate bits animals i divided into different categories that was categorized and this is divided right now in this we will get now herbivores the first type is herbivores right now in herbivores herbivores are animals which um, you know uh, animals which eat plants and all that plant products they eat only this uh, plants and carbon so those are known as herbivores now the next is carnivores right so carnivores are uh, the animals which eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores for example you can say lion tiger and men right now next is omnivores omnivores right 
Then only was animals which eat both plant and uh, animal flesh are called omnivores. Example: cow and dog. So they both are. Uh... Now uh, there is uh, another type called saprohytes. Sapro heights. So in sapro heights, living organisms that feed on dead and decaying organic matter uh, are called saprohytes, like vulture, yes, fungi, etc. They are known as decomposers also. So uh, they also help to clean up the environment, uh, right? So these all are known as uh, saprohytes. Now next is parasites. Next is parasites. Now these are uh, organisms feed on um, other living organisms. Means they do not eat, but they feed on living organisms, right? Like tapeworm, roundworm, etc., etc. Actually, uh. Types of worms only. Now, there are some of, uh, you know, uh, many, uh, there are some extra information which I am giving you. Uh, so, you can just keep that uh, in your mind. Just a moment. Uh, so, uh, next is uh, this one is white revolution. Now, uh, white revolution it refers uh, to large quantity of milk production, right? So, uh, as name says, white, white is uh, actually a milk, and so it uh, is very, uh, it is production of uh, milk in very large quantity, right? Now, the next is silver revolution it refers to large quantity of egg production so uh, egg production is uh, you can say that egg is little bit of courage also at seen uh, so that uh, uh, in that you can say uh, the silver production right next is Blue revolution, uh, blue revolution, it refers to large quantity uh, of uh, fish production. Now, fish live in water, water is of blue color. So, when, uh, uh, you can, uh, you know, recognize it uh, like that. So, uh, now we have. Pisciculture. Right. Now, in pisciculture, rearing of fish uh, means uh, uh, rearing of fish, right? Uh, on a large scale, is called pisciculture. Okay. Means uh, rearing of fish. Not, uh, not, uh, uh, means, yeah. N next is apiculture. Right, apiculture, rearing of bees to collect honey in large quantity is apiculture, okay? So, now uh, let's come to uh, next, uh, uh, the next part uh, that is uh, uh, we are going to know about uh, the components of food, right? So, let's talk about um yeah. Good. 
right so what comes in components of food now we had talked about uh, importance of food uh, uh, means food uh, is a building of every living organisms people take a variety of food to keep themselves fit to work right mm. now every organisms need food for its uh, maintenance uh, growth uh, development of organ uh, organs and to have good health right so um, as i told you that it protect us from infections and okay. now let's come to confidence of food. living organisms eat different kinds of food now the essential components of food are called nutrients right so uh, so now uh, it is called nutrient so uh, if we talk about nutrients we can say the vital substances present in food that the human being requires are called food for uh, so now uh, uh, okay now major nutrient in our food are as follows so actually nutrients are divided uh, into uh, you know uh, it is divided into five parts right that is first is carbohydrate next is fat Next is protein, and next is a uh, vitamin. And next is mineral. Okay, so these uh, five are parts. Now uh, let's get on the food part. Now, food are categorized into three parts. Uh, first is energy yielding nutrients. Uh, in that, uh, the uh, with, uh, fats and carbohydrates come in that category. Uh, building blocks of body. In that, proteins come. Now, protect uh, then protective nutrients in which vitamins and minerals. Okay. So, um. Now sources of carbohydrates. Now we are going to talk about the sources of carbohydrates. From here, we actually get uh, all, uh, you know, uh, carbohydrates. So the main and the biggest uh, part from which we get uh, is carbohydrates. So, uh, uh, is uh, you know. Uh, uh, put, uh, protective, right? Mm, I mean, yeah. so, so, uh, potatoes, uh, and bread, sugar, uh, cereal, and main sources, right? Now, carbohydrate present in form of starch and sugar. So, uh, carbohydrate is actually present in form of, you know, uh, iodine and starch. Right now, fats. Fats are main so uh, storehouse of energy of body. They provide energy whenever a body requires. Major sources of uh, fats are both animals and uh, plants. Right. So we got to know about plants and animals. But uh, carbohydrates uh, are also in the part of uh, you know plants and also in part of uh... so now major sources of fats are both animals and plants. Okay. Now example food rich in fats are ghee, egg, and meat. Now let's come to protein. Protein is a bodybuilding food actually, right? Now proteins are building blocks of our body. They help in proper growth and repair our body. So uh, now uh, proteins can be divided into two 
two groups depending on their sources. Proteins from animals like meat and cheese. Actually, we get uh, cheese also from uh, animals uh, as we get milk from uh, dairy animals. So we make cheese uh, from there. Now, proteins from plants, pulses, nuts, etc. Now, vitamins. Let's come to the vitamins. Now, what are vitamins? These are protective food which uh, are needed in very uh, small quantity for carrying weight. Now, due to deficiency of so, uh, if you are talking about the, uh, deficiency, please so you get to know all. I am sharing a chart with you. So let's get on that. Now see, this is a chart from which we can get the deficiency and which are symptoms. So from vitamin one, the uh, vitamin A loss of vision, poor vision, loss of vision, and darkness, sometimes complete loss of vision. Vitamin B one, very very weak muscles and work uh, and very little energy to uh, work. Vitamin C is curvy, bleeding gums, wounds take longer time to heal. Vitamin D rickets, bones uh, become soft and wet. Calcium, bone and tooth uh, decay, weak bones and tooth decay. Iodine, uh, uh, goiter, gland in the neck appears swollen, mental disability in children. Uh, iron, anemia, and weakness. So this was for today. Hope you like. Please uh, click on the bell icon if, uh, so that you never miss an update. And please uh, share this video, like, and thank you. And comment also. So thank you for watching this. Hope you like. Bye bye.